All right, we are back in the booth this evening. And what we got on the menu tonight is we're gonna do a transparent iridescent yellow sunfish in black and iridescent yellow with some custom Jetson eyes. These things are fire, they are nice. So go check him out at jetsonlures.com and we're gonna get started. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this on a Magnum S crank blank from Alternative Lures Luis. And like I said, we're gonna do it in a iridescent yellow black with fins and an ear, and we're gonna leave the rest of it transparent. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna be using some insane custom stencils. We're gonna be using the miniature um, bluegill, and we're gonna be using the fin wheel. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna load up a little bit of black in the gun, and we're gonna go ahead and shoot this stencil and the reason I want to shoot the side stencils first is because then I can layer the top and you know if you if you happen to make a mistake and uh, you put your stencil too low you can correct that with uh, doing the top afterwards if you do it in reverse you can't you won't be able to hide it if you do make a mistake hopefully we're not going to do that but I've painted this pattern a few times so I think I'll be okay so we're going to lower our pressure down it's around 20 and the key to these stencils i'm going to leave it up here while i do it i actually modified this stencil i actually cut the face out so i could like set it up here on on my own um, bill you just want to make sure that you get it up high enough that's that is really the key to this uh, stencil. So I've got it set up the way I want it and I'm just going to take a, I'm just going to shoot black on it just ever so slightly. And I'm going to stop right there. And that's what you get. It's kind of a cool pattern. And then I'm going to flip it over. You want to make sure that you've tapped that off because you don't want to spray wet on that. And we'll make sure we got it up high enough. We'll slide that tail in down and then we'll just kind of fade it on in. And there you go. Kind of gives it a real cool looking look. It's not a hard pattern to do. Kind of muffled up on that end and i'm gonna go ahead and darken the eyes because the eyes that i'm using i already know what i'm gonna use and i'm gonna have that yellow coming down on top of it so i'm gonna clean this out well i'll tell you what no i'm not because i can i can save this little bit of black i'll just switch guns i'll move over to my other gun and we'll shoot this uh iridescent yellow on the top now this is an auto air iridescent yellow. I use this a lot. I use this a lot. It is 4350, which is gonna be on the wicked line now. So if you wanna go that route, you're gonna have to get the iridescent yellow in the wicked. Okay, there we go. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna we're just gonna build up the top and make it meet where the stencil stopped. And this is a real loose paint, so we're gonna have to do this in steps. You can see what it's doing. It wants to, I'm gonna have to dry that really fast. I'm gonna put a heat set on it. And then that'll take care of it. When I go over it the next time, it'll um, it'll take care of that loosey. That first layer is always a little bit tough. Unless I put a, I could put a sealer over top of it. You 
just want to make sure you're putting it on light. Oh, that iridescent yellow is really um, airbrush friendly. It'll, it'll come on out. So we're going to go ahead and build back up over it. And you can see it takes care of that problem. I just want to come down far enough. It is, a, it is transparent, so I'm talking about the bait itself. So you can see it's covered up really nice. After you heat set that first one, it, um, it really does a good job. Okay, and what we'll do is I'm going to put a little bit of yellow on that nose where it's transparent. That'll give it a real cool look with these dark eyes. We'll go ahead and clean our gun out. And we're going to go back to the black. Because what we're going to do is, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and heat set that top. And we'll go ahead and do our fin work. And then we're going to put a small scale pattern on the top. So that'll kind of dress it up a little bit. This is a cool color. I catch a lot on black and yellow. It's a real good fish catching color. Alright, so what we're going to do. I'm gonna grab this because our top's still wet, so you gotta be careful. You don't wanna you don't wanna mess up your um your top. And I'm just picking out what fin I want to use. I think I'm gonna use this one. And you just wanna center it down about where that first line stops. And all I'm, I really want to do with this is go around the outside. Still give it that ghost appearance like that. And then what we'll do, we'll go ahead and come up here and uh, put our ear on. And all you wanna do is line it up. There's a lateral line there. Take it off, and there you go. We'll flip it over. Just gotta watch that and not hit it. Yeah, it looks like I touched it with my finger. I may have to go back over that a little bit. That's all right. It ain't going to be the first time. So we'll get that in place. And remember what we said. We're just going to go around the outside edge of it. Because we're wanting to keep that transparent look on it. And then we'll come back up here. And center that up. And there you go. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and heat set. Well, I tell you what, I got, I've got to put a little bit of yellow. I put my hand in it, put my, my finger touched the back side of it. So I got to fix that. This is a simple pattern. Not, this isn't hard. Um, but it's a good fish catching pattern. So we'll hit this right here real fast. Cover that back up. We did a good job of that. We'll go ahead and and we'll put a little heat on that and set it up. We'll go ahead and leave that yellow in the gun just in case. We ain't got to take it out right now. And we'll go ahead and heat set this. And then we'll finish our detail water cut.
make sure it's good and dry. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my my little loofah wheel out, and I'm just going to put some some scale pattern just on the crown of this bait. I'm not going to I'm not going to come way you know way down on it because I don't want it to take the the effect away. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and. Uh, just do the, the tippy top, which I with the crown of the bait, and I'll just let it sit on it, and I'll take my back hand and let it rest on it. Well, that would help if I had the gun already hooked up. This is probably one of my favorite combo colors to catch largemouth on. It, it's just a it's just a very good color so we're gonna pinch it down we're gonna let the front rest we're gonna grab the gun and we're just gonna hit the crown just the middle take it off and there you go the reason I do that is I don't want it to cover up the yellow on the sides. That just kind of takes away, it gives it a three-dimensional effect. And I really like that. So we're going to clean this black out because we're done with it. We're going to take some white and I'm going to touch up that ear and that fin just to give it a little detail. Finish cleaning this gun out. That black is hard to get out. So I take my time with it and dry it out real quick. We'll put a little titanium white in because I want it to be bright. I want this detail part to be Especially on a transparent bait, it's just gonna make it pop. Don't need but one or two drops. Get our wheel back out. We'll go ahead and do the top first. Then we won't have to lay over it. Make sure our gun's shooting. Still on about 20. Clean it up, got a little dry tip. And all we're doing is the very end, so we're not gonna be doing a lot. but just enough to give it that detail. We'll flip over and uh, let me find my, my fin that I used. Here we go. And all we're gonna do is lay it over top of it and put a little bit in the middle. That's it. That's it. And that gives it some, some detail. It makes it look really good. Go ahead and set it up. And all you're doing is getting in, but you want it white, white like that. It looks, it makes it just kind of stand out. Then I'm gonna flip over and find my my stencil that I used here on my fin, and I'm just gonna hit just a little bit in the middle there. I need to do a little darker than that. It ain't dark enough. I thought I had enough on it, but it it needs more than that. There we go. There we go. That's better. So we're going to clean the gun out while that dries. This is a really cool pattern. And like I said, this is very simple. You're not, you're only using really three paints. You're using a golden carbon black. You're using a golden um, titanium white. And then you're using the Auto Airs iridescent yellow, and that's it. It's a it's a very simple pattern piece of loofah. Gives that top a really cool look. Um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit 
get some UVLS mixed up and we'll put our eyes in and give that time to dry. We've got some UVS already done up here. We'll put a little reducer in with that. I'm not going to need much. Another trick, if you really want it to pop off the top, you can take some Lemon Candy 2.0 and just run over the crown. That'll really make that yellow and the black, it, it'll make it jump. We'll go ahead and take this tape off. And then we'll get our jets and eyes out. And these are custom eyes and they are nice. So you need to go check him out at Jetson jetsonlures.com I've just ordered some big eyes from John um, for the big bellied swim baits I just did a video on today I ordered some custom eyes I want for some blueback herring videos I'm going to be doing here in the future when I get the eyes so we're going to let that dry just for a second and I'm going to get these eyes out these eyes are just crazy cool and these are a black i'm gonna take these gloves off a black and yellow eye which really is is perfect for this um for this bait i mean it is perfect so i'm gonna get them out of here and these are seven millimeter. That's what goes on the Magnum. And the eyes that I'm using are actually these right here. And these are a black pupil with a, that was good. Hopefully that wouldn't, that was not good. I don't know where that went. Hmm. I will find it later. That was not good. I'm going to drop it in this shop. Not right now. So we're going to slide that eye up. Matter of fact, let me take it out of this. This is a cool eye. I love these eyes. They really make the bait. I'm having trouble with it tonight. Okay, there we go. So that's what, it, well, I ain't got it in there right yet. I got it facing the wrong way. That ain't good. Gotta get it together, Frank. Man, we are having some problems here. Maybe I need to try it with my hands. Maybe that ain't gonna work either. <laughs> well. All right, there we go. So that's what we're gonna look like. It is a very, very neat bait. I'm gonna put this up and I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here because I've gotta find an eye. But go check out Luis at alternativelures.com. Louis, these are Magnum S cranks, really cool. Don't forget the colors we used, carbon black, titanium white, iridescent yellow to three color bait. Don't forget we use the custom Jetson eyes at jetsonlures.com. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification for upcoming videos. And like always, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.